Hello everyone I am Lithium X. I am a long time holder of the hot token. A purchaser of the holo port. Everything you will see here is my own research I am not a financial advisor. My opinions are based off my own experiences in crypto. Please click the like and subscribe button and turn on notifications to get the latest holo chain news from Lithium X. Hello everyone thank you for tuning in today. As you have seen in my last video we reached the holo port registration usability milestone. Hundreds of new Holoport hosts have been welcomed to the network. In this video, I will be covering Holoport setup and technical issues you may be experiencing. Some of you may have seen I have been active as of late on forum.holo.host. By giving technical advice that is helping out many users. Holoport users. Receive this note attached with their Holoport it reads. Welcome to the Holo network. We have sent you an email invite to the Holo forum. Please create an account. Do not use the paper booklet which is the user guide in the box as it is out of date. To set up your Holoport, go to holo.host slash holoport setup. I will leave this in the description of this video so you can copy and paste it. If you have not been invited to the Holo forum, please reach out to help at holo.host. See you in the forum. The Holo team. In this update process, you are about to hear, is for a Holoport that has not been powered on and used previously for testing on the Holo network. Ready to go? Hint, once you get to step 3, you will need to wait several hours. In my experience, when I set up my whole low port, this process was actually only a couple of minutes. But remember this could depend on when your whole low port was manufactured. But let us continue. Step 1. As stated earlier we are not using the booklet that came with your whole low port. Step 2. With your whole low port turned off, ensure that the USB drive is not plugged into the back of the whole low port. Step 3. Power on your Holo port and connect it to the internet. Let it auto update for 3 hours. Note, if you get a pink light there is a problem with the internet. Check the ethernet cable, router, or your connection. As I stated before this process was only a couple of minutes in my experience and not hours. Step 4. Your Holo port LED will turn solid blue when it finished updating. Step 5. When it has turned solid blue follow these instructions to do a USB reset. Step 6. Register your holo port to the holo network at https colon slash slash register dot holo dot host slash holo. And from there you will be directed to the quick start process. I will add the link in the video description. When you see the automatic login reference on your holo port screen. And have a solid blue light. Please go to register dot holo dot host and you need to fill out your credentials. After your credentials are submitted you will be emailed a link immediately for quick start. To begin the whole low port setup. Currently, you can only register a whole low port here in the drop down menu. In the near future, you will also be able to register as a chat publisher and a holo fuel user. As I just stated. After you completed the previous steps. You will receive an email it reads. Thanks for registering to be a host on the holo network. Copy the registration code below. Then click on the quick start link where you will follow a step-by-step -step process to generate your secure identity seed and create login credentials for your holo ports. When opening the quick start tab, it reads, a few things to note before you get started, 1. If you have multiple holo ports, you must register them all during this quick start session. 2. Power on and connect your holo port to the internet. Allow your holo port to update. When the light on your holo port stops flashing green, the update process is complete. 3. Have the USB drive included with your holo port at hand. 4. Keep the copy of the passphrase you create for registration somewhere secure, cryptographic keys are not replaceable. This is a very important step. The next tab reads. Connecting your holo port to the holo network. If you do not have a registration code you need to begin at https colon slash slash register dot holo dot host slash holo. Otherwise, Click the next button and enter the registration code you received in your email. Next tab reads Step 1, Registration Code. Enter your email address and the registration code you received. Important! The next two steps are where you create and save your seed file, which is the basis of your identity. Remember it is super important to save the seed file in the passphrase you create here. Make sure it is somewhere safe and somewhere you will remember. 
It will be used in the future if you need to regenerate passwords or if you have to register additional Holo ports. You can disconnect from the internet if you would like. And continue using Quick Start. Step 2. Enter Passphrase. Make your passphrase as strong as possible. It should be long, includes a mix of many different characters, and be hard to guess. You can optionally turn off your internet for added security. Note your passphrase is an important thing to remember since it will decrypt your seed file. Keep it somewhere very safe. Important. Did you happen to write down your passphrase in a safe and memorable place? If you said yes, continue to the next tab. Step 3. Generate a seed file. Click the button below to generate and save your seed file. You will need to save it to your hard drive or USB drive that is not the same USB drive used for your Holoport. Remember you will need both the seed and your passphrase to restore any keys that are created from this seed. Step 4. Create host console credentials. Create a host console password for your primary Holoport. Note the host console is a web interface where you can manage your Holoport and hosting settings. Step 5. Create your keys and save them. Click the button below to download the configuration file. And then move the file to the whole low port USB drive. The file name must be HP Primary XYZXY.json. Note. Where you see XYZXY are the first five digits of your hollow port ID. You'll also see those digits on the link to your host console sent to you by email. Note. This is where your public and private keys are generated. The keys are the basis of the cryptography in Holo Chain and Holo. Your private key is stored on an encrypted key store your Holo port. And your public key is your address on the Holo network. And the first part of your web address for reaching your Holo port. We also call that your Holo port ID. Step 6. Connect to the Holo network. Safely eject the USB from your computer. Power on your Holo port and insert the USB into the associated Holo port. When the LED light is solid blue. Note if you have an additional whole low port you must continue to the next page to add it. Thanks for registering your whole low port. You will receive an email that includes a link to your host console. Where you can see your login. And manage the settings of your whole low port. The email reads. Hollow port successfully registered. Welcome to the world of distributed computing. Your hollow port is now connected to the hollow network. Clicking the link below will direct you to your hollow port's host console login where you can manage the settings of your Holo port. Remember to use the credentials you created during the quick start process to log in. Go to host console. Having trouble? First, check out the Holo forum for support, or create a ticket at help.https colon slash slash holo.host slash support slash ticket slash new and we'll be happy to help. A huge thanks for your commitment to building this new world with us. The Holo team. I have not received my email for host console you may be asking. I will now give you some troubleshooting advice that I have helped other users with that you may be experiencing or may experience in the future. So let us get into it. If you have the solid blue light, and you are still waiting on the email, this is a tip I have been guiding users with it reads. Hello everyone in my experience. After successfully registering and waiting on email, unplug the power to your heliport and wait a few seconds and plug it back in. Lights on your heliport will change from blue to yellow to then green and then an aurora mix of green and blue and then you instantly receive an email. Hope that helps Lithium X. Option 2. Look on your heliport screen if you are stuck on NixOS 18.09. Please go to https colon slash slash forum dot holo dot host. Message the team and verify if you need to do a factory reset on your heliport. The holo team will guide you through the steps if this is required. It is a very simple process. How do I factory reset my Holo port? As I stated before you should contact the Holo team at forum.holo.host before doing a factory reset. This is only for reference. Please remove the USB drive. And then try typing the following commands on your Holo port terminal, pose reset. Hit the enter key. And observe if the unit automatically turns itself off and back on. Please try typing the following commands on your Holo port terminal. Pose update master. Hit the enter key. Then. Try inserting the USB key with the HP primary xxxxx.json file on one USB port at a time. Reminder the USB stick should be in FAT32 format. How do I set my Holo port fan into silent mode you may be asking? Holo ports do hosting work for the Holo network. The more work they do the more Holo fuel they will earn but also the more hardware will be pushed to its limits. 
This post contains instructions to configure whole low port fan settings. Note. Whole low port fan settings can be manually set via the BIOS. The default settings from the manufacturer are extremely poor, overly aggressive fan, and thus whole low highly recommends that hosts go through this manual configuration. This process should take about 10 minutes. Before beginning, you will need to connect your hollow port to an HDMI monitor temporarily. Most modern TVs use HDMI connections and can be used as a monitor. Connect a USB keyboard to your whole low port. No internet connection is required during this process, so you can relocate your whole low port to a suitable monitor or TV if needed. Step 1. Restart the whole low port. Switch off the whole low port with power button. Wait a few seconds. Switch the power back on, and as the holo port reboots continually press the delete key then your screen should look like this. Step 2. Navigate to fan settings. Remember the BIOS does not have mouse support. Press right arrow once to select advanced on the top menu bar. Press down arrow until hardware monitor is highlighted. Press enter to select. You will arrive at a page like you see here. Step 3. Configure fan settings. Press down to reach the fan temperature settings and change them to the settings in the image you see here. Now press the F4 button on your keyboard to save and quit. Step 4. Let your holo port reboot after saving and exiting your holo port will reboot. Let it reach the terminal where it says root at pose in red. Type shutdown to shut down the holo port, it will take a minute to activate, move it back to its usual place. We recommend a cool place with adequate airflow. What is your holo port trying to tell you? The LED light is intended to make it easier to determine how the holo port is operating, and if you need to take any action to help it be in the proper working or or state, multiple colors. High level blinking light something is in process. Solid light something needs attention. Blinking specifics. Blinking blue holo port startup phase. This happens every time you power on a holo port. A new holo port or a holo port that has been disconnected for a long time could blink blue for hours as it downloads all the updates. Still need help? Blinking pink purple the holo port is trying to reach the internet. Note, this also happens during normal holo port operation from time to time. For example, when there is some brief or even longer term internet hiccup. Still need help? Blinking green the holo port is waiting to be issued TLS certificates for HTTPS. If this takes longer than 30 minutes, you should restart your holo port. Blinking yellow the holo port is registering with holo. If this takes longer than 5 minutes and you have not received an error email, Restart your holo port. Still need help? Solid specific solid blue the holo port is waiting for the USB drive with the correct files. It will also remain solid blue if the USB is inserted into the holo port without a config file, or an incorrectly named config file. Holo port still solid blue after inserting USB? Solid red the holo port cannot be registered because it has existing registration data on it. Please clear the data by doing a USB reset. Why am I not verified in host console you may be asking? Not to worry every host in the Holo network has this status at the moment. The verification will happen with the Know Your Client, KYC, milestone. Why is there no HAPS showing up on my dashboard in host console you may be asking? This will come with the publisher portal milestone. Please subscribe to my channel. Like and comment down below as my videos take time and money to create. Your support is greatly appreciated as my goal is to get to 1000 subscribers. I am currently only on Twitter and the Holo forum at this time. I will have my donation wallet up if you wish to donate and will never contact users about donations. Beware of scammers. Until next time Lithium X.